Hello and welcome to Zero Cool Gaming and this week's anime review. Today we're going to be reviewing a interesting anime called Akami Ga Kill. Um, I'm going to read a couple of reviews and give you my opinion about the reviews. And then I'm going to give you my opinions about the show itself. Um, Akami Ga Kill is a Japanese show and manga series created by... Takahiro, and illustrated by Tetsuya Tashiro. The series follows the life of young Tatsumi, who journeys to the city to help make some money for his village. Um, of course, the city, along with every city, is filled with a bunch of corruption, and it's only getting worse. Um, he crosses paths with a group, let's call them a gang, known as the Night Raid, and they ask him to join him. Uh, the anime adaptation of the manga was announced in January 2014. An interesting aspect of the anime adaptation is that it completes the series with an original ending because the manga had not yet been completed yet. Um... The story of Akami Ga Kill is a fantasy world where the city is the most flourishing place around, but it is also a place built on the exploitation of its people. Uh, young Tatsumi leaves his village along with his two childhood friends and set out to the city so that he can earn some money for the people back home and earn a name for himself. Um, this review takes a very surface level look at this anime. Uh, they say that it's not for the faint at heart. It is a series that displays some graphic content with, you know, gore and things of that effect. And it does have a lot of that in it. Uh, the plot focuses on the one young kid named Tatsumi, um, and it gives you, like, three of the characters out of several that are in the show. And that's basically, I mean, it is a very surface level view, and both the reviews that I pulled up are very surface level. And the reason for that is, it's because either the review was a surface level look at the show like this, or it was demonized. Uh, they did like insane breakdowns of different sections of it and twisted it to the point that what they were saying was nothing but a bunch of lies. Um, it is an action movie. There is a lot of violence in it. Um, and there is a very interesting story told as a result of all of this. And I'm going to explain that here in just a second. So, I'm going to read this one section, which is part of the uh, review. And it, it's going to go a lot with what I'm about to say as well. And this is from a reviewer. He says within his review, uh, The big problem I have with this series is that it is morally very dubious. Both sides kill with a similar lack of mercy and don't really care if you are just a normal guy or if you're on the wrong side or if they're on the wrong side. It reminds me of something my chemistry teacher once jokingly said. I cannot see any difference between the right and left because they don't show any difference in the way they react. Wow. Okay. We're going to talk about morality because that's what this show is. 
what do I mean by that? This show is quite literally, in my opinion, in, in my view, does not mean in any way that this is necessarily what the writers intended. But in my view, what this show is, is a morality test, literally. And I can give you a prime example of what I mean by that. One of the storylines within this show, there is a female officer who walks around with a dog. Um, if you watch the show, you, you'll pick up on who this person is really quickly. Um, and she acts kind and respectful and seems to be a, a decent human being. The reality is that she is none of these things. And I know that because in some ways I am like her. When I go out into the public, I am very... What's the word I should use here? I'm kind. And I try to be as respectful as possible. I myself am neither of those things. And as soon as somebody stops being kind or respectful towards me, that facade drops immediately. And they find out that I am not the kind, respectful person that I had presented. I don't do this to try to fool people or um, make them angry with me. No, I do it because I don't feel that there is any need to go out into the world and cause conflict with every single person I meet. Unfortunately, because I do try to be generally nice, many people mistaken that for weakness and are cowardice. I am neither of those things either. Moving on, back to the uh, officer with her dog. <clears throat> if I was to compare her with a modern day example, I would say that she is the prime example of a social justice warrior. And what do I mean by that? Well, let me explain what I mean by that. She knows what it means to be kind to people. She knows what it means to be respectful toward others. But, when she is confronted with the truth. She does not try to validate any of it. She does not try to find the evidence that exists to prove what the truth is. She willfully and wantingly chooses to believe the lies she has been told because she does not want to confront the reality of the world around her. And in my opinion, this is the exact same thing that social justice warriors do. They believe they are kind and moral people, even though what they are doing and have done is based on lies. They willfully and wantingly choose to believe the lies in order to justify their actions that in no way makes them a good or moral or kind person.
which is why I think a lot of the reviews for this show are a quite literal demonization of it. Because after they watched this show, which they obviously hated, when they looked in the mirror, they didn't like what they saw. So in order to justify their existence, they demonized what they watched. I wouldn't call it a review at that point. Anyway, did I enjoy this show? Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, for lots of reasons. Um, there's actually some really deep topics and subjects that it covers. Some very, uh, I wouldn't call them morally dubious situations in, by any respect. More of a uh, moral compass. Let me explain my beliefs on moral you, you, on on morals. Okay, morals are not something that you're born with. People are not just born good and moral and understanding and kind. That's a lie. It always has been a lie. It always will be a lie. Morality is something that you are taught, and it doesn't mean that the morals you're taught are right. Neither does it mean that the morals you are taught are good. You can be taught an evil moral, absolutely. And you can believe that you're right in belief of that moral, even though it is evil. We see it all the time on this planet, all over the place. Morals are simply a structure for which you view the world through and adhere to. And there are many people who know what morals are, but adhere to none of them. That does not make them moral. Okay. Anyway, that's my rant for the day, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of yours.